Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Witch Way Podcast. I'm your host, Misty Jacoby. Oh, man, guys. Today is just... Whew, it's one of those days. You know, you guys may have listened to my last episode. If you didn't listen to my last episode, I encourage you to do so. The um, Not My Responsibility episode, because I'm really, really having to remind myself of that right now. <laughs> In the sense that it's... Um, it's just not my responsibility uh, what others think of me. You know, um, today's, it's a rough one. Um, I, how can I say this? I try to be really careful with the way that I phrase things and the way that I say things because I have been accused of saying things um or directing things at certain people, uh, where, where there, there wasn't. Um, and I know that, that that's just one of those, well, if the shoe fits, um, cases, but I really am not intending to use, um, my podcast or any platform that I have to attack anybody else. That's not the intention. The intention behind my podcast or any other, uh, platform that I have is, to just let other people that might be experiencing the same feelings know that they're not alone. Um, and just to have a way to connect to other people that might feel like they're alone because, okay, fair warning. I'm going to cry during this episode. <laughs> um, I remember spending a lot of time feeling alone. And uh, um, a lot of that was my fault in the sense that I did not reach out to anybody. Um, I did not reach out for help. And I had various reasons uh, as to why I didn't reach out for help, uh, at least to certain people. Um, I had various reasons as to why, you know, I didn't, you know, reach out like some specific people's because I already knew what their response was going to be. And it was a response that I didn't need in that moment. Um and I didn't reach out to some people because they didn't know anything was going on and I didn't want them to know anything was going on. Um, I didn't want them to worry. So I just had various reasons for not reaching out to certain people. So I quite often felt alone. Um, and so my purpose for my podcast and my, my social media, my platforms is just to really put myself out there. What you see is what you get. Um, I'm not perfect. I'm going to say the wrong things. I'm going to do the wrong things. Sometimes, um, it's, it's all how we learn, but I put myself out there because I want other people to know if they're feeling the same way that they're not alone. Whew, man. Um, don't think that because I am, you know, crying or upset or anything in this moment, that things are not going well. Like I'm doing so much better and I am so much further than I was even just a few months ago. And things are really great. And I truly am happy. I mean, there are definitely some things in my life that I wish, um, you know, that would take a different turn. Um, and I'm still having hope for that, but for the most part, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, I feel safe. Finally, I feel comfortable. Um, I feel like I can relax. My body's trying to catch up on sleep. So I'm sleeping all the time because I haven't like my therapist told me it's, you haven't slept in years. <laughs> um, and so I'm really like, I'm still trying to regulate like, you know, my nerves, everything's just really trying to find its place again. Um, but for the most part, I mean, everything is going really well. Um, school's about to start up uh, for, for my youngest and we're excited about, well, I'm excited about that. I don't know if he's, I wouldn't say he's particularly excited about that. Um, but you know, things are, things are okay. I'm just, I'm just having a day and, um, I'm kind of struggling. Like I wanted to do this episode. So I got on here really quickly to do it. Um, because I want to be more consistent about it, but I'm like, I'm having a hard time with whether or not I want to be specific. Um, so I, huh, how can I do this? <laughs> how can I do this? Um, I feel like what, you know, one of the things that I talked about in my previous um, episode of, uh, not my responsibility was that it, you, 
you kind of can't control other people's feelings, you know, and you really need to only focus on the things that you can have control over. Um, and the only thing that you can have control over is yourself, you know, your, your behaviors, your actions, your, your words, your everything you can, you can control that, but you can't control other people and how they feel about you. Um, you obviously, you can control their place in your life. Um, and that, you know, that may be a sad thing. Um, it may be a good thing. It is, depends on how it works out for you. Um, so, I mean, so there, I, so there's that, there's always a choice. Um, it's just, it's just hurtful when you have people that are important to you, um, for one reason or another, they're important to you. Um, and you, you find that they feel a certain way about you. Um, like maybe you already knew that they were angry or that they were hurt or they were upset or something, but then you find, uh, you find other things, you know, you, uh, I'm having the hardest time doing this episode without getting into specific details, which is going to feel like an attack to some people. And that's not the intention. Um, uh, I could have probably took some time to think about how, how I wanted to word things, but then I didn't, I wanted, I wanted to do this episode in the moment because I wanted, um, I want it to be real. I wanted it to be raw. Um, it's just, it's just really hurtful when you find out that people that don't even know you and all they know of you is what they've been told by other people. Um, or maybe even, maybe even, uh, snippets here and there they think they know you um but they don't truly know you um and they form an opinion without having a discussion with you without getting to know you without talking to you um and they share that opinion with other people which then influences their opinion of you um normally i would just say like if if you were talking to me about this and you were saying this person feels a certain way about me um, and they've been encouraged by another person that doesn't know me to not have anything to do with me, yada, yada. I would be like, you know what? Fuck them. You don't, you don't need that. You don't need that. But it's sometimes difficult depending on who those people are. Um, or maybe who, who just one of those people are in that equation. Um, and you don't want to let go of that. Um, it could be a really hard situation to be in. Sometimes it's not as easy as saying, you know what, fuck them, don't need it. Sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes it's not that simple. And, and I get that. And I wanted to put that out there because I often do preach about, you know what, fuck them, you don't need that. And it's easy for me to say that and to give that advice to you, but living in it in the moment, it's not always that easy. It's not always that cut and dry. Um, and it's just, you know, sometimes it's like you find these things out and you just have this immense desire to try to clear things up, to try to clear your name, to try to um, defend yourself. Um, and that, I mean, that's really what it is. It's like things are being said about you and behind your back or even to you in such um, in such a harsh manner that you don't even have the opportunity to try to work through the problem. It's like, uh, it's like, say there's like this really, this is going to be so stupid, but say there's like this really muddy path. Okay. And I'm talking like, like let's like quicksand kind of mud, like the mud you stand. I grew up in the country. Can you tell? It's like the mud that you step in and your shoe comes off when you pull your foot back up. Cause it's like, it's just thick and sinking and you have to work together to get across that. But instead of working together to get across it, you're standing there and one person's yelling at the other about how it needs to get done. And you're just, you're just standing there arguing about it instead of working through it. You know what I mean? And it's like when there are things that come up in your life, I've noticed, um, or something that I've learned up to this point is 
you really, you have to go through it. You can't stand there and argue about what it looks like and what it's going to do and what's going to happen if you follow your idea and what's going to happen if you follow their idea. You can't do that. You have to work together and you have to work through it. Going through it is the only way to have it not be an issue anymore. Because if you're standing there and you're arguing about it and you're arguing about who I, whose idea is better than the other, guess what? You look forward, you still have the fucking mud to go through. Hello, it's still there. And the only way it's ever going to be behind you where you don't have to see it again is if you go through it. When one of you is willing to go through it and the other one isn't, it's hard. It's just really hard. It's hard to, it's hard to say like, at what point do I, what point do I figure this out and do it by myself? Maybe, maybe they'll eventually do it too. And they'll catch up to you. Maybe they won't, but it's really hurtful. Um, yeah, it, it can be, it can be heartbreaking depending on who that person is. You know, it's like in my life, I have gotten really good at being able to cut people out really quickly. Um, but there are a few people, there's just a handful of people that hold a really a really tight space in my heart that's really hard to do that with. And for the most part, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with who I am or not even for the most part. I am, I am happy with who I am. I'm happy with how far I've come and how far I continue to go. I am in therapy weekly. Um, I have been for a very long time. Um, I just, all I can control is myself and do the best that I can with what I have. And I have to put my hands up and let go of those that don't want to go on that journey or that maybe want to go on their own separate journey. And it just hurts. It hurts to do that. Um, It's really hard to feel like you've, you know, made it this far in your life and you're, you're now in your forties and, and you're like the, the whole, the whole point of life is like learning and growing and learning and growing and learning and growing. And we're constantly learning and growing and learning and growing. And some people are better at it than others. Some people come from better environments that, that they have a little bit of a head start, but ultimately it's all of our responsibility to, you know, take a step back and say, this is not the way things should be. Um, and the way things that I've done, the way that I did things before is not okay. And I need to change that. I mean, that's all okay. The whole point is to continue to learn and grow and to learn and grow and that you're not always going to be perfect and you're not always going to be what somebody else wants you to be. Um, but, but to recognize that it's nobody's fault, but your own, um, and that it's your responsibility to, to say, you know what, this is not who I want to be. This is not how I want to be, or this is not, you know, good for me or whatever. It, it, that's, that's the whole point, you know, and it just, it, sometimes it sucks to get to a point where you feel like you've done um, really well and that you've come a long way and it's just still not good enough. You know what I mean? That whole not good enough feeling. Um, sometimes you just want to make people see, you know, that they had it better than the people before them and that they had it better than the people before them and so on and so forth. But that's just not how it works because everybody, everybody is, is, only invested in their own experience, you know, like what you've been through. Like, I know there are people out there that had it way worse than me, but I'm, I'm, I'm here for me, you know, I'm going through what I'm going through and you can't, you can't brush off, um, you know, how you feel or how somebody else feels because, uh, because somebody else has it worse out there. I used to hate that when people say, you know what, there's, there's, you don't, you don't want that for dinner. There's starving kids somewhere else. You know what? I, okay. You know, it's like there's starving kids somewhere else. I'm, I'm sorry for that. There, I don't, what I can't do anything about that right now as a, like as a child, but that doesn't mean 
like, what does that mean for me? Just, you know, I know that's probably a trivial example. It's, it's uh, but you get what I'm saying. It's like, there's always going to be somebody out there that has it worse than you. That doesn't mean that what you're going through holds any less pain. It's just hurtful to work so hard to come so far and then, you know, find, find something out that's just like a slap in the face. But all you can do is really try not to, you know, try to remember someone else's feelings is not your responsibility. The way they feel towards you is not your responsibility. If you're doing the best that you can and you strive to do better then their opinions of you, it's not, you know, it's, it's them. It's what they want. It's what they see and how they feel. And if they don't want to talk to you about it and they don't want to try to work through it and get to the other side of that mud with you, then, then you just have to go by yourself and hope that they'll catch up with you later. Man, it's just a really crappy place to be, you know? But uh, for anyone out there who might be going through the same thing, you're not alone. You're not alone. I know it feels like it, but you're not. And it gets better. Each day gets better, my friends.